it's not too bad, I guess, depending on how you look at it. And this goes, now this is mostly have to do on the American side of things, um, because it's a bill, and uh, it's called Bill S-978. And uh, basically what it is, is, uh, I, I know I didn't read the whole thing, so in a nutshell, it's basically anything that you stream or play over the internet that is copyrighted would be uh, against the law. Uh, basically saying that. And this is a big thing on YouTube. In fact, uh, thanks to my sons actually uh, showed me the video uh, on it yesterday. And uh, now if you go go into, uh, you know, where this bill came from, uh, it turns out a lot of this was lobbied by and backed by, you know, uh, film and t the TV industry. Uh, of course, um, broadcasting copyrighted TV and movies, um, which could be a problem. I think now, though, uh, because with the Internet, it it's different because... Internet's like a whole new fr uh, frontier for many laws and other things. I think that right now you you're a kind you can do it, uh, but there's stipulations on that. You know if you know you get a takedown notice from the uh, people who own it, then of course you're le legally obligated to take said material down. But but some sites like uh, YouTube and the other places just um, do it right away anyway on the most part um, now a lot of people uh, on YouTube are afraid that um, that would include other copyrighted material like um, gaming screencasts because gaming is really big gaming channels um, on YouTube and even here on Justin TV and their tw their new channel I believe twit dot tv or twitch excuse me I sometimes I always mess that up and uh even it could be somebody singing a copyrighted song uh you know happy birthday believe it or not that's copyrighted um you know you can see that little kid go to jail i guess but not not really <laughs> um and so uh let me see i've got other stuff down there and uh jtv is so it gets around And uh, and uh, what do you guys think about it? Uh, I know we got uh, let me see we got Brad, Carlo Brown, and Bob. In the uh, uh, what do you guys think about this? No, well, it's, it's certainly not going to help the guys who uh, like to stream sports and movies over in Justin TV. I think that's the main thing it's going to affect is obviously the TVs and movies because right now that's how JTV gets away from it. Actually they, they kind of want that in a way because that's where they get a lot of their traffic. Yeah, I hate to say this on about JTV but you know. Yeah. Well, that's what the, um, they do it a lot with the wrestling events, the WWE wrestling events that people will stick them up there and then the, um, Justin TV takes the channels down for DCMA or something. Um, same with a few movies as well. Yeah, but... You know, YouTube has a copyright content policy and that kind of stuff as well. Now, now it's a little bit different between JTV and YouTube because YouTube pretty much is, is a lot stricter where JTV, they have to get that takedown notice. I, I forgot, what is it, DCMA or... The exact yeah, they, they have to actually be requested. So if, if someone does get caught broadcasting WWE Wrestling and uh, they... So someone uh, from the company says having a look through and making sure that no one's uh, actually rebroadcasting it, and they'll uh, contact JTV and say, "Well, we, we don't want uh, our content broadcast on here." Then they have to get rid of it straight away. Otherwise, I think they're liable to be sued or something. It's pretty serious stuff. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to real. I, I don't think it's going to affect other areas as much you know like um you know game screencasts because well some of this is covered under the fair use act and i've actually well i had it up here now well, some games on on justin tv they don't let the uh the broadcaster broadcast the games unless they're out everywhere 
certain games will come out that will be available over in, in America first, and if they're not out in the UK or Europe yet, then most oh, of the time yeah. they won't let the broadcaster actually broadcast it because you know, we don't have it over here. So uh, I don't know, and I'll have to see it or whatever. But then when it's worldwide released, then it, it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, I was going to add that. Give them the go ahead to, to broadcast it. It was like that with the LA Murray game. We weren't allowed to, to broadcast that until about a couple of weeks later, until UK and Europe got it. Uh, yeah, I was going to mention that too. Any game that hasn't been officially released, I, well, I didn't real, I didn't think about worldwide because you got different dates, different time zones. Yeah, you know, that too. Like if, even if it's uh, pre-release, so you're not allowed to um, broadcast it unless it's a. Uh, released to tools if i had a say a dev version of a particular game i would not be allowed to broadcast it i'd get into a lot of trouble if i did yeah um now let me uh i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you a, a little bit about now this is america only as far as i know which is called the fair use act um which i think would cover some of the supposedly stream uh doing desktop streaming of this so like gaming and software packages and uh which is uh basically um the fair use uh let me see uh the fair use of a copyrighted work including such use by uh reproduction copies or photo records uh by any other means specified by this that section for purpose such as criticism comment news reporting Teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarships, and research. Now, a lot of this is, you know, they put in their own commentary. They use it for reviews. So, uh, some of this <laughs> exploded more. Like. Other than, uh, other than, um, you know, TV and movies. Uh, you know, for like gaming reviews. So that would be covered under the uh, the fairy. Uh, the Fair Use Act, at least here in America. Um, other countries I'm not too sure about yet. Um, I don't know. I never understood gaming, why it would be considered copyright to broadcast it, because usually when we think about um, copyright uh, for games, you know, it'd be physically downloading and actually be able to play it yourself, vice, just watching somebody else do it. Through, you know, either through the internet or a recorded video. Uh, that, yeah, when it's not out, though, I, I can't play it for myself. So you know, that's sort of a bit of a grey area there because, um, what? Well, so I got Dragon Age Two, for example, and um, I've got it over here. Um, you don't have it over there for like another month. Um, so possibly I could be. Um, enticing you to go out and get it via other means because you, you've seen what I've done and you really like the game so they sort of might decide to go out and pirate it because they, uh, they're like well I can't be bothered to wait two weeks go and get it over here so you know, I'm going to get pirate it and that's a, maybe something they're trying to avoid there yeah that's why they make uh, different disc formats so you can't pirate things it's like over in America you guys 